In this video, we will learn the MATLAB code for Taylor's method of order 2. The formula for Taylor's method of order 2 is this one, where i varies from 0 to n minus 1. Suppose we want to approximate the solution of the first order differential equation dy over dt equals to e to the power t, where t varies from 0 to 2. We also have an initial condition y of 0 equals to 1. If we solve this problem analytically, then we get the exact solution as y equals to e to the power t. If we plot the graph y equals to e to the power t, then we get this type of continuous graph. But we cannot solve all the differential equation analytically and need to approximate the result using different numerical methods. For analytical solution, we got a continuous curve, but for numerical solution, we get different points on the domain that approximate the exact solution. That is, this type of discontinuous graph that approximate the exact result. Now, if we plot the exact solution and numerical solution together, then we get this type of graph, where this one is the exact solution and this star is the approximate solution. If we increase the number of subintervals, then we get more accurate approximation, like this graph. Now, let's solve this problem using the MATLAB code. This is the MATLAB code of Taylor's method of order 2. In this code, we will solve two different problems, example 1 and example 2. For other problems, you do not need to change any line except this function and its derivative. Now let's run the code. So click on run and go to command window. So enter the left endpoint A which is 0, enter the right endpoint B which is 2. Now enter number of sum intervals, suppose it's 10. Finally, enter the initial condition alpha, which is 1. So, this is the approximate solution and this is its corresponding graph. Now, to solve example 2, give a percentage sign here and its derivative and delete the percentage sign from this function and its derivative. This is the derivative of function f. So, run again. So, click on run and go to command window. For example 2, left end point a is 0, right end point b is 2. Suppose number of sub intervals n is 10 and the initial condition for example 2 is 0 0.5. So, this is the approximate result of example 2 and this is its corresponding graph. Thanks for watching.